Hi friends, sorry well, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we are going to learn about trim function. Uh, in our last tutorial we have learnt about LPAD and RPAD. So, and the guys who are new for this tutorial, I'll just explain you, I'll just let you know that uh, this is a diagram what I have drawn for SQL single row functions. So you can watch out that tutorial where I have made, you know, explained all these functions. So you'll get that link in description below. And let's jump to SQL workshop to learn about train function. Okay, come here. So we have the train function. What it does actually train train function trains, uh, you know, either from left side of the string or column or from the right side of the string or column. I'll explain with example that will be better for for both of us. Let's do select uh, select some name. Suppose Google. Google, I'll write a column Alice name from Jewel. All right, when I'm doing this, it means uh, the Google will be output. But what if I'll add a space in, you know, both left side and right side by mistake or purposely, I, if I have, you know, added spaces and I'll run this, then space will also come with Google. Okay, now our string is this much longer. Okay. You can use length function here to get, you know, to get how many characters are the count of characters in this string. So you can get, if you want to know about length function, I'll give the link in description below. You'll learn about length function. Okay. So let's, uh, you know, let's see what trim does. If I'm using trim here, trim, and then I'm using, I'm, I'm not doing anything. I'm just writing trim and I'll run this. Then the spaces will get trimmed. All right. Sorry, yeah. So what trim does? Simply, if you are not doing anything, you are writing trim. The space will get trimmed from both sides, from right side and left side, not in between the table, uh, in between the strings. Suppose you are writing some something like John Amos. and then you'll use trim. This space will not get trimmed. Okay, the only space from left side or right side will get trimmed got it hope this is uh, you got the thing all right okay so this is what trim does what if i want to trim this g the capital g from left side or the capital g from you know from this string itself wherever the capital g is used i wanna you know uh, trim that i wanna remove that g how can we do that i'll write here trim capital g from the keyword what we have given here the string and will run it see the capital G is gone from here from the output what if I'll write a G uh, suppose a G is coming here as well the capital G because you know this is case sensitive so this is not reading this small G it is also you know only getting the capital G from the string okay so it will what it will do it will trim the G from both side as you can see both side the capital G is not coming because it has trimmed Okay, so when I'm saying trim the string, what I want to trim from the you know given string where where the original string is, and we are trimming it from this. All right. So hope this is good for you. This is understandable for you. We have two more trims. I mean the sub trim of trim is L trim and R trim. Okay. So what L trim or R trim does? L trim trims the character or whatever what we mentioned from left side and R trim trims from right side I'll explain you here suppose I have a the same example we'll take we'll take Google write alias name call one from oops from dual all right so let's trim this let's uh, simply select it yeah so what i'm saying here i'm saying use l trim to trim from you know the syntax is uh, a little bit different uh, here we are we are saying something like this but here we will simply give the string and the trimming character what you want to trim so i want to trim from left side of this uh, you know the string i want to trim this g because we are using L trim, it means it will search for the left side. All right. So let's run this. Yeah. 
suppose you have written here one more G capital G you have written here but it will not you know trim that right side G's as you can see this G is coming as it is but you know the G from here get omitted get trimmed all right so this is what L trim does suppose I am using here R trim R trim then what it will do it will you know let it be as it is and it will frame this this G the right side G's uh, yeah so as you can see this G is not not at all visible because it has been trimmed and the rest of the strings are coming so hope you got the you know the basic syntax and understanding of trims and L trim and R trim this is very useful and we use this you know very frequently let's let's do let's see the example with a table column so let's start from employees table let's select and run this query yeah so we have this output so just take first name okay first name I'll, I'll be selecting here first name remove these two things hope you got this in yeah so first name I'm writing here first name from employees we, we get the data and we are going to use trim on this column so how we can do that they take uh, see we have we have uh, the name as as it is so I'll, I'll take one more column here first name comma trim I'll trim E from first name I'll give a ls name to this column trimmed column okay now run this see our, our, our first name is this thing and here capital e is e is removed where the uh, the program did, didn't get capital E the you know column is coming as it is wherever it is getting capital E will be getting in Elizabeth as you can see capital E was present there but it, here it has been removed so wherever it will get capital E it will be getting removed all right and yeah let's just try to uh, see the example with L trim and I'll, rem I'll you know change this thing first name first name comma capital E okay so what L trim does it will remove E from left side let's run it it will do the same thing what trim was doing because the capital E was present only in the left side all right so as you can see in Elizabeth E is not present here okay and in Allen is not present here so this is what uh, you know L trim is doing let's do R trim and this time we will take small n okay so this is case sensitive whatever we will write it will trim only that thing so yeah n is not present as you can see here and you know so this is what this is what things are doing Herman here double n all n are double n is coming both n is not removed because you know it trimmed the right one again it got again uh, the one so it trimmed again the right one so both n is getting omitted and yeah that's the example we have okay what else I want to say you yeah you can use this in where clause as well but I'll explain the where clause later because you know I have not explained about the where clause so when I'll explain where clause then I'll let you know how we can use this stream function and any other function what we have used in this uh, single row function in length and lower and upper all this we can use in where clause as well but I'll, re I'll explain those things when I'll explain you about where clause then I'll explain about these functions how we can use it in where clause hope uh, this is understandable for you and uh, yeah that's it for today so for any confusion and any you know uh, doubt just comment in comment box and let me know what your confusion is thank you very much just uh, be with me lot of tutorials are yet to come and lot of things you will learn about SQL and later we will learn about PLSQL and Oracle Apex as well so thank you very much